problem and also the resolution of the sensor. We're using 220 by 240 here. And so we have a new piece of hardware that has a 640 by 480 um, uh, depth sensor, seaplane. And then it also has 1280 by 960 RGB sensor. So um, you get more resolution here and you'll get essentially more resolution here. So there's just a lot more than you can do with that as well. And a shorter cable to eliminate. Is that out now? What's that? Is that out now? The... It's out on the 31st. Oh, okay, of yeah. this month. On the 31st of this month, yeah. So there, he's got half a camera. <laughs> and over time, yeah, over time it, uh... So like, as an example, if you wanted to print out, the thing that I love is being able, if you wanted to print out a model of that thing, you just sort of scan in the whole, um... So like what we're doing here with this coffee cup. Like what we're doing here with this cup. That, that resets it. So it figures out all of the elements of that coffee cup over time. It's confused. There we go. And so then you can print that, print that out, or do various things with it as well. One of the things people are doing, like imagine you go into a castle in Russia, and you want to be able to figure out if you can move furniture in the castle, or what that, what the room looks like with that furniture in the castle. You essentially, scan the room or any existing room, and then you can actually figure out what's the distance from there to there, and can I, you know, maneuver stuff around, or can I? They're using it at nuclear facilities today, where they need to move big, gnarly things, and um, so they, they want to be able to figure out what's the distance, what's the depth. How can I do the stuff that I want to do? But you can easily do stuff like they're doing there, which is you know figure out does stuff look good on me, or does the couch look good in this room, or what's the distance from there to there, or the height, or that kind of stuff as well. So this tracks essentially all of that. I'm out. <laughs> Honey. Hi there! My camera runs Skype! Oh, it's yours are 3D! Actually, my phone's 3D. I've yeah. got the, the, the glasses list 3D. Oh, yeah! Awesome. It's, it's, it's actually really neat. I'll show it to you. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn this off. Right. Well, question though, when when's the... Um, so, can we do this now with the SDK? Well, you can't do this now with the SDK. Um, we've sort of published this out as a white paper, so we've got the data sheets there, and you can oh, actually cool. pull it down. But you'd have to actually develop it yourself. Right now, with our SDK, we've got you know essentially 21 skeleton um, point tracking, so you can figure out the kinetics and the kinetic motion and those sorts of things. Um, and this is stuff you know we're always looking not at. Not the kinetics. Not the, the kinetics. kinetics. The kin this sort of stuff. How do you swing a golf club, or how do you, you know, right. do the manufacturing and that kind of stuff? So people are building it for retail manufacturing. Manufacturing. Um, you, like, were you at the keynote last night? Did you no, see? no, okay. I didn't want to stay in line for four hours. Okay, okay. So there's a number of different apps that are coming out. Yeah, education, retail, um, manufacturing. You could imagine how, if you wanted to be able to design, in this case, that shirt, but also in the case of, let's say you're doing cars. Um, you, you may may want to be able to say, what's this car going to look like with those wheels on, or what is this car going to look like with um, that engine? How's the weight going to be if you put a different engine in or different frame and that sort of stuff? So um, well, those are the things that you want to be able to do to connect to figure out. Well, okay. yeah, those are the things you want to be able to do. Cool.